Some people might argue that thiamine alpha-1 is just a peptide, but are you concerned that it could harm someone? A peptide is just a protein, and you know you get proteins in hamburgers, so your body will handle it the same way. The peptides get chewed up by enzymes in your bloodstream and metabolized by your liver and go away. You'd be better spending $400 on a few hamburgers than, uh, than on this. So Leslie joins me now to talk more about her findings. Leslie, this is unbelievable. So tell us what else you uncovered. Well, this is my thymocin alpha-1 right here. And if you can see, this is the small amount that I received for $400 plus the price of the consult. And I was given all these needles too. Now you're supposed to inject this in yourself every day. And the doctors that offered this to me said they inject it in themselves every day and it's helped their immunity. And they also told me when I picked it up that they gave it to people that had COVID and their symptoms cleared in days. So it's, it's a hard sell from some of these places. It sounds really appealing that this stuff might actually work to prevent COVID and to treat COVID, but the science just isn't there yet. And I wanna point out that while the peptide in itself, it's a synthetic peptide, it's made in a compounding pharmacy. Compounding pharmacies don't have the best track record. And while I was talking to some of these doctors that were offering it, I asked them, I said, where do you get your thymosin alpha one? And a few of these places couldn't even tell me where it was compounded. That's a red flag. You should make sure that you know where they're getting this stuff. And that laboratory has been vetted for safety protocols. Well, if we know about it, you know about it, uh, the FDA has to know about it. What are they doing about it? Not much, because unless there's an adverse event, they're not going to step in. So unless somebody was harmed from this stuff, it's just going to continue to be out there and sold to people as a valid COVID treatment and also for other things as well. Well, Leslie, as always, thanks for your investigation and just uncovering things that are unthinkable, especially during uh, COVID times of such challenge. So thank you, and uh, we'll check with you later. Thank you. We're living in uncertain times. It's tough to keep up with the latest medical headlines. Panic about the market, panic about COVID. And how do those headlines impact you and your family? On season 13 of The Doctors, we want to empower you physically. If I met them at dance, they would meet me at medicine. Man, I love that. Emotionally, if I can change my thoughts, I can change my feelings. And medically, he doesn't have his mask up, which is not a good thing. This is the million dollar question, maybe the trillion dollar question. This is so critical for people to hear. We're giving you the inside track on health and wellness so that you can get back to the life you deserve. It's time to take back your power. The Doctors, now more than ever, premieres September 21st.